Packers Corner. I'm Mick Morano, and with me, John Fankhauser, head coach of the Walsh football program. And John, congratulations on last year. You know, you waited so long to become head coach here, working in different aspects mm -hmm. of, of the team. Was it worth it? Was it as exciting as you thought it would be? Yes, it was. It, it was exciting. It was worth the wait. It's, it's always kind of been my as I was working up through kind of my dream job. Yeah. Um, I've applied other places and obviously hadn't gotten some of those opportunities, but had finished second or whatever in different opportunities. But uh, when this one finally arose and I was named, it was, it was really exciting. But as you get into it, the hecticness of being the head coach and where all the all the buck stops at on that desk, uh -huh. it, it gets a little hectic at times, but it's been exciting, it's been fun. I have a great staff, been really fortunate to uh, be a part of this growth process. One of the great moves I thought you made last year was right off of the bat. You had a veteran offensive line coming in, senior laden, big. Several of the guys over 300 pounds. You opened up with three freshmen, two sophomores on the offensive line. They, they took their lumps early, mm -hmm. but you could see the improvement. And I think that this paves the way for the next few years. And also, I think it sends a message. One, you don't have a job wrapped up. You've got to come, do what you're supposed to be doing, obey the rules, get it done, get in, get your weight lifting. Also tells the freshman coming in, hey, if I work hard, this guy's going to give me a shot. Yeah, that's one of the things that we've always tried to promote. Uh, we haven't, because we've been a rel relatively young team, some guys get some starting roles a little earlier in their careers than what would be typical. So they kind of think, hey, I've got that starting position. I'm going to keep that starting position. Well, it's not just keeping that, you gotta to work to earn it every day. And we've created a lot more competition throughout not just the offensive line, but our entire offense and defense. We've got a lot of competition in that. I think that's going to really help us as we grow into the future with getting a lot of good experience. And we're still relatively a young team, but we've got a lot of kids with experience. So I'm excited about that. With the offensive line that I touched about, you can see the difference in the ball carrying and in fact, uh, four of the ten games, you averaged over five yards a carry, which is a was a big plus. And I think they're developing. You got some backups, and you also recruited heavily on the offensive line. I think you brought in seven new ones. So there's going to be a lot of competition there. Yeah, we we will have a lot of competition on the offensive line. They, that's a group that is kind of ever evolving, but we've got a lot of guys there that have gotten game experience, which is great. Um, I think we have seven returning starters, if you will, and then everybody says, well, there's five. No, we've got guys that have started at different times and have come back, so we're excited about that group that's coming back. They've opened some good holes and, and also protected our quarterback uh, really well in the last part of the season as we started to mature and understand schemes and stunts and different things, so that offensive line has really progressed. GMAC nine teams uh, last year, you were right in the middle five. Mm -hmm. Beat the four below lost to the four above. You're trying to get into that upper echelon. You were so close last year. You lost by a touchdown to Tiffin. You were tied with Finley in the fourth quarter. Uh, and they played well throughout against the tougher competition. Well, how Dominican beat you, the one kid. Mm -hmm. Home return of 80 yards. So that is a big positive that you're competing and now ready to move forward and get into that upper echelon of teams. Yeah, the, the thing that we looked at as we got through the season is, you're right, we finished right in the middle of that group of the conference, but we were really in every game we played right. throughout the whole year. And that's something I'm really proud of, that our kids have a lot of fight. They're going to continue to battle throughout the game, whether things are going well or not. Fortunately for us last year, a lot of things did go well. The Finley game, we had a lot of turnovers. We stayed in that game, we were fighting. We had a chance to even take the lead as we're going into the fourth quarter, but uh, the maturity process for us now is figure out how to win that game or win games like that and beat some of those top four and get into that top echelon of our conference. And that's our goal. That's something we've worked really hard on in the spring. And uh, I think we're making progress towards that, but only time will tell. Freshmen and sophomores laden throughout the defensive unit. You went heavy on the defensive recruiting. 
but last year they were phenomenal. Maybe, arguably, the best unit when you consider the offense struggled a lot of the season. The defense was constantly on the field, and they just were tremendous. And you brought back a pass rush here. Yeah, yeah. We, I, I tell you, Coach Johnson does a great job with our defense. He's got our group, no matter what age they are, running to the football. And if those guys can continue to get to the football fast, we may not make every single tackle because we're a little young and a little bit not quite as strong as we'd like to be and we're going, going to get to be. But the more people that are hitting that ball carrier, the quicker he drops. And, and that's one of the things that they've really worked on throughout since Coach Shantz has been the uh, defense coordinator. He's really worked on flying to the football, get guys to the ball. And as many teams that spread you out and put you back in the box and do those things, we've got guys that are more athletic on defense. Uh, they, they run really well. And uh, those things progress into that, that defense. I, I truly believe that defense was our strength of our team last year. I'm looking for them to be the strength again this year. But that offense is going to start coming along too. Spring practice was great. I came down a few times, saw the scrimmages. I don't know how you are so organized with that when you got a hundred kids out there milling around, but you give everybody with the coaching staff attention that they're not feel that they're going to be overlooked, and that that's a big plus. Yeah, one of our goals this spring going into it was we needed to find uh, depth and build our football knowledge. So one of the things that we tried to do is get kids more reps. It, it, to me, it didn't matter what you know where they're at roster-wise or depth chart-wise, get guys reps. The more reps they get, the better they're going to get. And we worked really hard at trying to find situations and scrimmages, even in practice and, and putting our kids in different situations, situations that will help us pr progress into, this, into the fall, but also just get guys reps. The more reps they get, the better off they're going to be. And we found a lot of depth with our reps that we found this spring. John, specialty teams also a work in progress, and you, you'd like to get it back to where you had it when Rob Lash was here, where you had a guy that could bust a couple, both mm -hmm. on the kickoffs, but more importantly, to give you good field position and a shorter field for the offense. So that, again, is a, is a work in progress. For you. Right. With this, I've always been a special teams person. Uh, the special teams uh, are very key into our progress as we continue to move forward and as we just talked about our defensive kids most of those defensive kids end up on special teams so the stronger we are on defense usually the stronger we're going to be on the special teams area and that's something that's good for us we we haven't had that prototypical type returner guy like Rob Lash or guys that have been in our in our history mm -hmm. we've recruited a few young men that are like that and we feel like some of those guys can really get the ball and just go with it so we're going to probably look at being a little bit more of a return team on punt return. Obviously with kickoff return, we'll be, we'll be solid there. I think Chad Morolo had a great spring on our kicking side of it. Trey Crockett did a great job with our punting. He's progressing and getting stronger and stronger, and I expect him to be one of the top punters in the conference next year. John, continued success here. You brought the excitement back to Walsh Cavalier football, and wish you the best. You're just a terrific guy, and I think the program here is in good hands with you at the uh, wheel. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. It's not just me. It's our staff. It's our kids. It's our support people around our campus that really help us. As you get around our campus, it's a fun place to be. It's a good environment, and we're looking forward to kind of catching up to those basketball levels that they've accomplished lately. John Fankhauser, head coach of the Walsh Cavalier football team on Cavalier's Corner.